It's not the reason I won't do it, but, but I feel confirmed in the fact that I don't do it by the fact that if there had been fewer white folks willing to listen to the lie that because they had color in common with other people, they should stand back and let my ancestors be lynched and let my ancestors be brutalized and let my ancestors be enslaved, they would not have suffered. They would not have been oppressed. And I will not commit the sin. I will not commit the injustice that kept them in chains for so many centuries. The Barack Obama. Oh, I was talking about him. All right. It just slipped out. I was talking about him. My mother would say his ears must be burning. But that's all right. I like your voice. His ears must be burning because I'm talking about him. But I didn't vote for him. And I didn't vote for him because I looked at it according to what God requires of me. And I said, I couldn't do that. And all these people calling me a traitor and all of this. Some of them even profess to be Christian people calling me nasty names like that. And, and, and what does it say here in the early days of the scripture? There's a passage in Acts. Acts chapter 4. And uh, the apostles had been in, in uh, town, Peter and John, and, uh, and they, were, they had healed somebody. And the word of the healing was going like wildfire throughout the town. And, and it was causing people to, to stir up and murmur. And, and they were, there were all kinds of things going about. And this upset some of the, uh, some of the folks who were kind of in power <coughs> in that town. Okay? And um, they started to confer amongst themselves. And they said, what shall we do to these men, Peter and Paul? For that indeed, uh, this, is, this is verse 16, for that indeed a notable miracle hath been done by that is manifest to all them that dwell in Jerusalem, and we cannot deny it. But that it spread no further among the people, let us straightly threaten them, okay? that they speak henceforth to no man in this name, that is in the name of Jesus Christ, whereby they have healed him. And they called them and commanded them not to speak at all, nor teach in the name of Jesus. But Peter and John answered and said unto them. Now listen carefully here. Peter and John answered and said unto them, Whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. And to all of those who will call me a traitor to some race, who will call me an Uncle Tom, who will yell epithets and ungodly slurs against me, I say that what they have said, whether it be right in the sight of God to hearken unto you more than unto God, judge ye. Because I will not. I will not. I will not hearken unto the words of those who told me the other day. Don't set foot on this ground. Don't set foot in this place bearing witness to the truth of God's will for innocent life. That's what they said. Okay. And I crossed their line and I stood upon that ground testifying to the truth of God's law in respect of innocent human life. Amen. And they arrested me and they threw me in jail. So be it. I can't. I can't understand what's happening. I especially can't understand what is happening among black folks in America when they will, they will see a holocaust going on that is claiming lives and has claimed lives by the millions upon the millions upon the millions upon the millions. Yes, that is claiming lives more than in any other community by proportion in the black community. 11% of the population. 35, 39% of the abortions. Okay. We are privileged in this, in death. We are privileged in this, in being cut off from our future. We have been accorded this privilege on account of our race. But the only other privilege they will accord us is the privilege to bow down in homage to somebody who encourages the floor and call that man our model for the future. He is no model for me. And he never shall be. And I remember that the, that the true champions of black Americans were clear that what they fought for was not for black America. 
It was not based on race. It was not based on color. But they claimed for us, they claimed also for every human life created by God Almighty. And I will not put racial solidarity and racial power and racial preference above my allegiance to that truth, which means that I must bear witness to the slaughter of the innocent, whatever color they may be, whatever background they may have. Because when Martin Luther King stood up and he was willing to cross the line and he was willing to go to jail, because he made it clear that it was a duty and responsibility and obligation to all mankind. There were those among all human beings who came to stand with him, who came to march with him, who came to sit in jail with him to bear witness to the truth of God's justice for all human beings. Okay. And, and so, that being true, y'all, I, I, I don't see how I could give in to any kind of fear because people got to call me names and ridicule me and laugh at me because I will do on behalf of the little babes who represent all humanity. But some people who didn't have my color of skin or my slave ancestors in their background were nonetheless willing to do for me and for those like me. As they fought for black America and black humanity, so I will fight for all humanity. Yes. That life may be lifted up in reverence and treated with justice. No matter that you're not quite ready yet. You know? Because there are a whole bunch of folks. I'm among them, by the way. Okay? There are a whole bunch of us who aren't quite ready yet. As a matter of fact, I bet if you looked at most human beings, you'll find they're not quite ready yet in a whole lot of ways. <laughs> Even the ones who, who think they're so smart, and think they're so successful, and think they're so rich, and think they're so this, think they're so that, they're not quite ready yet. And, 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 and here, I am willing to join in one assessment, because i got to tell you, there are those people who look at, at a Barack Obama and they see power and they see success and they see a natural victory and so forth and so on. And I look at his conscience and I say, he's not quite ready yet. <laughs> and, and so we all, we all, of course, fall short of the glory. Isn't that what we were told? Turns out that that's true. But you know what's wonderful? I, I want to I wanna bring us home here on a note that sometimes is forgotten. Uh, it's a note that sometimes can be forgotten about. And, and I, was, I was reminded of it because of the reading today from the scriptures in, in which the words reminded us that the Lord our God is the creator of all things. He, he, made, he made the seas and the dry land and he, and he set the stars in place and he put the planets in motion. He lifted up the mountains and he fashioned even ourselves. Hmm. But you know what's really beautiful? I want you to do a little exercise for me. Really? Everybody pay attention now. I want you to do a little exercise with me. I want everyone to close their eyes. Close your eyes. See, because you do this all the time, but I want you to focus on it. Close your eyes. I want you to see a mountain. I want you to see a mountain with snow-capped peaks. I want you to see that mountain surrounded by other mountains and then some little hills. And, and maybe we could add we could add a touch of clouds right around near the summit of that mountain. You see that? Everybody got that? Yes. Okay, I want you to try something else. I want you to see an apple. I want you to see the redness of the apple's color and I want you to see the, the light that glints off the apple when it's all nice and shiny. Do you see that shiny <coughs> apple? But now I want you to see the apple pie that you made from that apple. I want you to see the crust. I want you to see the steam rising up from it. I want you to take a piece and taste it. And then I want you to go out after you've had a nice meal with that pie. Look up at the sky, you know. Look up at the sky and see the stars. And maybe it's one of those nights in the month when you can look over there and see a nice moon. Sitting amongst some of those stars. Open your eyes. What did you just do? What you just did, you just made a mountain. You just put some star 